Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Heroes of Light and Shadow. Now, you might see that we're in a bit of a different predicament than what we were in when I told you I would catch you guys back up. So let me run down the predicament that we are actually in. So I have not uh, gotten over here to get these um, chests yet. However, I did move my thief down here and I got this, which contained a um, basically a large amount of money. Uh, as you can see, my guys are pretty much all... St Actually, all my guys are alive, and I have a plan. I have a plan, but I don't know how good of a plan it is. I basically want to run him... I, I, I kind of want to run him over and get this guy. Problem with that is that I literally have to run this guy over in one go. And that's the big problem. I don't think I can do that. She may be able to make it. Do I have anyone who's got... He's got a job. Well, anyways, what I learned is that these guys cannot move. At all. Well, he can move, but this one can't. So this guy has a move, whereas this guy does not. So, what I'm thinking about doing is getting this horse guy to run over there, javelin that one guy to death, and then move uh, this, uh, move Ubello over and basically take out um, this bishop. Because the other bishop can attack. And uh, once that one bishop is done, then this will be a piece of cake. Um, I have, I kind of taken, taken care of a lot of the guys that were down here. Um, so, yeah, that was something that has happened. And, let's see. No. I, I'm kind of utilizing Frey here because this is going to be the only battle he's going to be in. I'm not going to use him anymore um, after this battle. So, yeah. And from what I've seen, nothing can really hurt Frey. He's got, like, he doesn't have my kind of defense, but... Then again, who does? Um, as you can see, some of my guys are a little bit battle-worn. Uh, some guys did get a bit hurt, but not a lot of them. So let's just put them right there behind them. Yeah, they should be fine. They'll be fine. A steel bow and a javelin. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end my turn here and see what happens. And then more reinforcements. <coughs> I saw that coming about a mile away. And that javelin is going to attack um, him. Or her. I'm sorry. Her. To be politically correct, there are female archers. Can he make it? Misses it by one space. However, I can fix that. So next turn, he's gonna... He'll, he should be able to make it here. Th that's my biggest worry, is basically... And, uh, just put this guy there. Is that one swarmer, as I like to call it. Just freaking do this. Nah, that wouldn't be enough. What about you? Can you... Take out your avatar. No, neither of you can take out your people you're supposed to take out. Okay, so you get behind him and heal him. You get behind this archer, heal him. Oh! Oh, that's right, she's got a mend on her! I'd forgotten about mend! At least I think, yeah, she's got mend. Well, anyways, um, also I equipped um, Chris with a steel lance. I took it from that one paladin that I'm not using right now and basically just gave it to him. So, it's like you're, he's not going to be using it. And I don't like using paladins that you get. I don't like using advanced classes that you get from, like, that the game just gives you. I prefer to use them if you build them up because they're much more powerful. You, you've seen, like, I could get a general right now. Like, 
in this chapter, I could get a general. And Chris could wipe the floor with him. Alright. So let's see what happens. Now, I don't know if... The, if... I don't know if these guys are going to come eternally, or if, like, they'll stop coming after a while. If, they, if they're if they going to stop coming after a while, that's good, because I kind of need them to stop coming after a while. Also, uh, he's not going to last much longer. Yep, saw that coming. Okay, so yeah. So let's get him right in there and have him. Oh, and Swarm can't attack. Oh yeah, that's right, because Swarm can't attack in close range. But there is a problem. Wait, hold on. Can he? I don't know if he can get him. Yeah, he can get him. But he can't get him permanently. I can outlast that. I can do that. And plus, it'd be good experience for him. He, he's going to get a buttload of experience. I'm just, just uh, sitting there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I'll bring her down here. I'm not crazy. I know what I'm doing. some experience. You need it. And, and this is how I build up my um, my archers most of the time whenever I play a Fire Emblem game. I just sit them back behind like a wall, like how I'm doing with these guys. Like, these two would be a wall and then, well, he's a better wall than this guy, but what can you do? Not everyone can be the unstoppable Chris. Um, but yeah, so I just sit them behind a wall and then just go to town on everything else. Okay, so, and I don't think this guy can get out. No, he can't. Not yet. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my Pegasus. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to do it right now. She's, she's good. I'm just going to bring my Pegasus over here. And I'm just going to get ready for a fight over here. And you know I bring her down here. Might as well. See, that's scaring me that that might. No, there's no way. Hey, what? Then again, it's eternal. That's a lot of experience for my archers there. Anyways, the reason I brought her over here is because. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah. They, um, Pegasus Knights have an insane amount of, uh, resistance to magic. Same with, uh, Dragon Knights, I think, except for wind magic. Almost every other type of magic, uh, they can do. Now, that's interesting. That you would choose to heal that one and not this guy, who's your buddy. You think you'd heal your buddy, or maybe? Uh, yeah, that's pro that's probably what it is. It probably see. Um, I don't know what I'm, I'm trying to think of how to best explain this. Um, what it probably does is it uh, picks out who needs it the most, like who's actually frontline fighters, and then gives it to them, and then it goes further back. Um, 
it's not like she's going to get hit anymore anyway. So, uh, like, literally, that's probably the only battle she's going to be in for a while. Okay. So, now what I want to do is I want to continue to move my guys further and further down. However, that doesn't seem like it's going to be possible. For several reasons. What level is she? It's level 5. Eh, I can level her up a little bit. This is one reason why I like later Fire Emblem games, because in them, you are actually given uh, access to stores whenever you need them. Whereas in this game, your supplies are kind of limited. So, it's something I don't like. Is that, like, because I know if I could get, like, an endless supply of steel weapons right now, there would be nothing that could stop me. And um, I'm betting now he's going to heal up. Yeah, sick. Uh, oh, wow, that's, that's good, really. That was really good. Also, I noticed that, and I think it's at the beginning of the turn, or is it the end of the turn? No, it's the beginning of the turn. Reinforcements come. No reinforcements came this time. So I think we're done with reinforcements. I think that we've seen the last of the enemy reinforcements. At least coming from the back. And if he gets a strength up, that's good. Let's just give it to Chris. I'm trying to get Chris up to being a general anyway, so... He's... Almost there, really. Oh, wow. Gosh. I love it when they get... Oh, wow. She got some really good uh, increase there. Another level up for my healer. You're going to you're gonna notice that your healers are going to level up so fast, you won't be able to control it. Nine times out of ten. And as you can see, she's like... What is it? B-level staffs. I've never found a useful B-level staff. Mend is the most useful staff you'll ever run into. Ever. That's not me being generous to Mend. Uh, that's literal truth. Like, if you ever find him... Uh, like... Like, the staff this guy's using, Psionic, it's okay, but it's got such a low... Um, low points on it that it's almost worthless. Heal is about the same thing. And why didn't you heal your buddy? Well, damn. See, I don't want to put anyone into that range, and I do want these two chests. Well, you know what I could do? I could start moving my characters up. Uh, they're all going to go in through one door. So I'm basically going to make like a bottleneck. And uh, Chris is going to be at the front of that bottleneck and just blocking everything. And then there's going to be an archer or mage 
I might put a mage behind him. But yeah, basically, there's going to be a bottleneck right behind Chris. And then, like, everyone's just going to rush in. Slowly, of course. So basically, it's going to start here. And we're just going to slowly fill out. Now, can you hit this guy? Apparently not. I don't want to have to switch you out. I will if I have to, though. Now, could she make it? Come on, eventually you will hit something. Now please get a point in skill. Thank you. Uh, skill makes it so that you can hit things easier. And of course, next turn he's going to heal. But that's what I want. I want him to heal. And the bad thing is, if this guy were to move to the other end of that hall, yeah, I would be in deep trouble. Because then I'd have to literally line up that wall with whatever I could and just start pelting him. So let's get everyone. Let's put a guy right here. Let's put him right there. Put someone there. All right. Yeah, even I saw that guy. He's got a 66% chance, but he's doing 8 damage now. And also, he may not heal him from that. Oh, he didn't heal him from that. And he's only got 5 more hits with it. Just wear him down. Now, if he doesn't heal him this time, he's dead. Yeah, I figured he'd heal him. But it's too late. Please don't. It seems like he's only healing him every other turn. No, he, he, okay, so he heals him if he gets down to a certain amount of HP. Okay. That makes sense. How many more has he got? Three more. So I just have to get through three more psionic heals. And that guy is completely useless. Also, um... Things like skill book, um, basically anything except for anything that's now going to increase my defense, I'm going to give it to Chris. Uh, but I won't give any defense things in it because as you see the green there, that means even if I were to give it to him, it wouldn't do jack. Because he's basically, he's mastered out his defense, his, it's maxed out. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm so sorry that this is not more entertaining. I wish it was, but, I mean, sometimes this is how you have to do it. And he, oh, he's got more defense. Mathis is slowly becoming one of my better Cavaliers. Using a Javelin, nonetheless. And I think that was... He's got one more psionic use. And that's it. I would rather use up the psionic than use up the... It was I'd rather use up the psionic than use up the, um... Uh... And that's it. He can't heal anymore, so that guy is now completely useless. So now I gotta do is take out the swarmer. I hate how it keeps going back to Mars. Critical hit! this, if it kills him. Alright, we are now free to enter that hallway. That guy was tough. There was no BSing that. That guy was tough. But, uh, these chests are now mine. Betty, huh? 
And uh, the character I'm going to use to take out that one guy, um, the healer, this where is he? this guy right here, I'm just going to use um, I'm going to use him, and I don't care how many times it takes me to do it. And yeah, I know I could have moved more people in that, but I didn't want to. Didn't want to. All right, so I don't know what Libera Libera does. Let's see what it does. So, plus two luck. That's not bad. And I'm just going to put this in there. So, that's definitely going to Chris. Because uh, luck is an interesting little skill. And plus, he doesn't have hardly any luck. Luck is a very interesting skill. Basically, you know how... Uh, I wish I had a better way of describing it. Here, take my iron jab uh, lance. You're going to need it more than I will. Okay, so let's get you up there. I wish you could just give all of the, um, excuse me, all of the uh, things to one person, but unfortunately you cannot. And yes, I know there's the other door. But if I open both doors, uh, then I can't control where the enemies are going to be coming from. If I open one door, I can potentially back off if I need to. If it gets too hectic for me, I can back off and basically, well, I'm kind of making it so that it's going to be hard for me to back off. But I can kind of do so. Or just de-equip everything from Chris. And Chris is going to stand right here, and there's going to be two people like to the sides. A healer and a, uh, yeah. A healer and an attacker. Okay, so this is interesting. He can't even hurt him. So there's no point in even trying. Well, if it hits him, I think it still get experience. Let's see. Does he still get experience if it hits him? No. Okay, so that was just a waste of a fire. Okay, so... Oh! Crap! But a crap crap. So where is this, uh... Oh, he's over there. Wow! He is over there. So... We got ourselves a problem here. And I gotta fix this problem by doing this. Wow, that was actually very lucky. Um, okay, so what the problem was is that he would not have survived an Hellfire attack. There's no chance, no way, it's not happening. just not possible. So let's move you out of the way. And just... Yeah, let's just have Chris do it. Okay, so... Can you use... I think Elf Fire is a D spell. That's interesting. Okay, so let's see what happens next turn. Nothing. Have you wait there. Let's have you go here. Okay, so he can use L fire. <laughs> this is interesting, because as you saw, L fire only is going to be doing one damage. But, he is still doing damage, which means that, and he's only going to be able to do 18 points of damage. But if he continues going and his magic skill goes up, then I can use fire, which will then hurt him more. 
So what is the... Okay, it's a one hallway. So what I can now do is basically... These guys. Uh, the, king, the general here, he's not going to move. And he's got cancer. Ah! <laughs> oh, burn, 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 burn. So as you saw, we've got a healer, and a healer, and how far can you move? Oh, you can move pretty, pretty far. But nothing that can actually get to us yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you up, because you're going to be the mage that's going to be standing right behind him. And, uh, I'm going to move her up, because she's got more... No, she does not... They actually both have about the same amount. But luckily, I think one of them actually has... I can actually get another heal. So let's use Elfire again. This is all that Yabello is going to be doing. He's going to be sitting there on his butt, firing at a spell of a guy who's not going to be touch, uh, doing anything else. Let's leave him to it, shall we? I need her up there because she needs to talk with uh, my... Very first, oh, and by the way, my very first Myrmidon. Yes, Masters of the Killing Blow. They are absolutely, absolutely, absolutely my favorite class. There, oh, God. You know I got to give that to my guy, right? That cancer, I got to give him cancer. So, anyways, um... Yes, I'm going to give Chris cancer. Uh, <laughs> because it gives him defense, and that's what I'm going to give him, is like anything that has to do with... You know, give you that. By the way, have I been moving my thief? I haven't. And he's got a mend on him. Why does he... Oh, that's right, his lover. I've forgotten about her. Yeah, okay. So, in the original Fire Emblem game, which I have not played, yeah, I know, you can throw uh, Rotten Tomatoes at me later, but uh, in the original Fire Emblem, he, the, uh, that thief fell in love with a priestess-ish person thing. Yeah, so, anyways, uh, he, fe uh, he fell in love with her, and basically, that's why he has that min thing. He can't use it, but he has it. So, this is going to be a while. So, now. I know you guys are probably getting tired of seeing other people fighting. Or, uh, I, I know you guys are probably getting tired of seeing Chris fight. Well, guess what? You're going to see more of Chris fighting. <laughs> oh, you're going to see more of Chris. And, yeah, I know I could use other people. But, here's the thing. At the moment, yeah, yeah I'll figure out someone else to give that to. Okay. So, anyways, at the moment, Chris is my most powerful character in defense-wise. So, what I can do is basically set up that I'm going to yes I'm gonna be using this is actually how I've gotten through a lot of the f really huh. all right so now you bello is gonna level up I swear it'll be easier from this point on if he would have gotten a magic skill which he did not he needs to get a magic skill in order for him to actually do more damage. So, that was a waste of a level up. Alright, let's move one more step in. Finally! Oh, you know, I bet you they're not going to move outside of that little stupid, um... 
I bet you they're not going to move outside of that, uh... This got to move twice? Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, so what I figured was that they're not going to move outside... Oh, shit. Sorry for going, uh, musical on you there, but, uh... Yeah. These guys can wreck Chris's shit. And I've only got one cure for wreck, uh, wrecked shit. And that's wrecking other shit. I have to kill these guys before they're able to kill Chris. Because Chris is me. But my name is not Chris in real life. I'm just going to go ahead and say that out loud. Um, no, my name is not actually Chris in real life. Um, so... Maybe one of these days I'll actually put in a uh, play a game where I show you what my real name is. I don't know. I know if I played Fallout, then yeah, you'd see what my real name is. Or Fallout 4, at least, because they actually see your name in it, and that's so awesome. And come on, you guys know you lost, you lost your stuff in Fallout 4 when Cogsworth said your name, if your name was among those that got said. If your name wasn't among those that got said, I'm sorry, but it's awesome that you, some characters say your name. <laughs> this is actually powerful enough to hurt me. I promise Chris is not going to go up against the boss if I can't help it. I swear, if he got another defense point, I would have lost it right there. Yeah, javelins do jack and shit. Tink. And then this guy's gonna come over and think he's a badass when really he's not. When really he is. Alright, so we can actually do some things. Not a lot of useful ones, but we can do some things. So the first thing we can do is take out this guy. Now... Shit. I just fucked up. But luckily I fucked up in a way that isn't too bad. You back the fuck off. You back the fuck out. Okay, so now these guys cannot harm anyone. I think one of them might be able to do one damage to Chris, but... Mm. No, they can't even do one damage. They're both zero. Both are zero. Else, I'll, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna run her down. And then after this, I'm gonna move. Uh, oh, what the fuck is her name? That that Pegasus Knight girl. I'm gonna move her as close to him as possible. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get him on my team. Because he looks like a badass. So let's get ready for her to literally run across the stage. Because that is what she's going to do. She's going to run. I know in some Fire Emblem games, I can't remember which one it is. But in some of them, when you do the conversations, it'll actually show them on, like, the battlefield like this. Is it this one? Or does it just show the... I don't know. 
Okay, so the battle screen, the battlefield is now cleared. There's only two enemies left. That is the boss, big bad boss guy right here, and the guy who's going to join me. So. Strong against flyers, but we'll see. So Shaver doesn't even do anything to him. The only attack that does anything is out fire. So I need to get at least. God damn. And he put a dent in that steel lance, folks. You can see it. Yeah, he put a real dent in that steel lance. Uh, can't, I don't know if she'll be able to make it to him. And if, if she misses it by one, I have a plan. And the plan involves Chris, believe it or not. I know you guys are probably getting tired of me seeing uh, of seeing Chris in battle, but th th he won't be fighting. Trust me. So can she reach him? She can. Good. <laughs> Fuck you, game. If this guy is not a Marmadon, I'm going to be pissed. You saved yourself one time, game! One time! Oh. No, I was gonna be so pissed off if I had gotten up to that guy and turns out... He Um, I gotta use Chris again because he's the only one who can do shit damage to this guy. Anyways, that's what Chris will look like when he becomes a general. So, yeah. Yeah, you're not keeping that dead. Not in a million years. And, uh, no, this battle is not over just yet. There. As you can see, <laughs> holy shit. Chris now has 23 defense, 18 attack, and one magic. It's pretty, uh, he's pretty good, actually. But I'm not, if I was done with this yet, I would say, okay, then that's it. However, there's one more thing I can do, and it's got to be with Ubella. 
I've started this enough. It's going to happen now. So, I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to sit through this. But I'm getting you bellow his kill, okay? He deserves this kill. He has whacked away at this guy. He deserves it. Alright, you bellow. Take this. And kill this fucker. Yeah, so... What? Ah. Son of a bitch, you bellow. If he gets a magic skill, he'd actually be able to do some damage against this guy. Alright, please get a magic skill. Bella, why do you hate me? He's not going to be able to finish this fight. Hold on, 12. He might. He, no, he'll be able to finish it. He actually, as long as he hits every single hit, he'll actually barely make it. Seriously. I'm sorry for this, folks, but, I mean, he, he deserves this kill. He deserves it. Two more turns. I promise you it's almost done. We are almost finished with this guy. He's got three more uses. This guy's only got four more health. We're almost done, folks. We have almost gotten you, Bello. What he deserves. Thank you! Thank you! Please, you Bello. Ah. Oh. God, that looks so awesome. Anyway, secret book. It increases your skill by two. Oh. Seize and done. Oh, thank God.
I think we've already started finding some of them. But that'll be for next time. God, that took forever, and it was all because of Yubella, or Yobella, or whatever his name was. But I wanted to give him his kill. I wanted to get him a kill that was his and his alone, and I did. And that's what I wanted, and I feel better about it. So, believe it or not, this, this battle here was actually one of the hardest ones I've ever been in. But, honestly... Chris is coming along nicely. I'm thinking about just giving him everything and just letting him run rampant over all the enemies. But anyways, this has been Mr. Kotorex. And remember, folks, there's no point being an adult if you can't act childish from time to time. And I'll see you on the next video. See ya.